Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. Today I'm starting it off by rappelling off the Mall of America, raising money for the Salvation Army. If you guys don't know, I run a charitable giving campaign through my office where every new patient, it's $100 to one of five local charities based on low administration fees and being local to our area. So that includes Salvation Army, Boys and Girls Club, Tidewell Hospice, Southeastern Guide Dogs, and All Children's Hospital. Since February, I've been able to raise $32,000 for our local charities. So today, to raise a little bit more, I'm gonna repel off Mall of America and they'll go back to the car action. Shoo! Oh my God. I see. Right, so just let that rope move through that hand. Okay. That's him right there. Mm -hmm. Dang, he's doing really well. I know. Really well. Oh, he's a suck. Wow. Oh, that was cool. What a thrill. We made it. Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0, day one. We're at my, personally, my favorite track, Thunder Valley Raceway in Noble, Oklahoma. We got Ben here. What do you think? Are you pumped? I'm so excited. The guys are all here. We got James and George driving Ruby. Garrett and Brent are driving Leroy. Cheyenne's here in his Tesla Plaid, pulling a three-phase Jenny behind it, which is absolutely epic. The guys really got me good. They totally did me dirty. They uh, told me that they didn't bring the hood for my car, right? So. I thought it was pretty hilarious and I was going along with the joke and I was like, all right, we're rocking no hood. I mean, Leroy and Ruby, they're completely fine without a hood. So then they approached me and were like, hey, for the 9.0 class, you have to have a hood. Well, shoot, they had really had me going and sure as heck they had it in the Viper truck. So they got me good. We're gonna throw the hood back on it. We're about to go through tech and then we're gonna start some racing tonight. Look who made it. Uncle Chet with the Jenny on the back of the Tesla. Dude, that thing is so dirty, I love it. Yeah, I got it all ready for racing. Oh yeah, but the trailer looks way cleaner than the Tesla. Yeah, because it's a real Tesla. Have you washed it since you drove it through the water? Hey, have you washed it yet? New cage, all the safety gear is up to date. We're ready, we're doing it. So we're gonna go down the track here at Thunder Valley just to familiarize yourself with, uh, with the track. And yeah, then get everything put away and transferred over and then close the trailer up and then we're done. We're gonna start racing. All right, Cheyenne, you gonna, you gonna tell me a little about this thing? Are we battling it out this week or what? They won't let me in the 9-0 bracket. Oh, cause you don't have a cage? You got so lucky. I didn't get you're, lucky. You're I would have won either way, boy. dude. We can grudge all day you want. I'll grudge race you. So what are you going to do? Are you just going for the record this week, or what are you doing? Yeah, so we're going to see if I can hit the 10-0 bracket, which is going to be possible. Yeah. But the, uh, yeah, and then they're, they're fine with me running fast. I just can't run the bracket. So are then I'll go in and once I run my bracket. Are your tires small enough to do like a radial class or anything? But yeah, so I got, no, they won't let me in because I don't. it's still too fast. For a radial, like an eighth mile class? Oh, well, I could probably get in an eighth mile. Why don't you do but that? But they run a five nine. I think they run faster than that. So yeah. Like bigger, oh, this is a five nine and an eighth. Like yeah, they're like faster a than that. Bigger tire on this thing, do like more torque out of it. Yeah. So I have a whole different combination. I have a whole another set in there. Of some are these are Toyota triple eights. Uh, those are triple eights on the front, and then they're I couldn't. Oh, the short. proxies. So those are nitros on here. I like those triple eights. Dang, I can't believe you took the seats out of this thing. So it should be just coming down to me. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take a donut that he sits on for the week. Dude, He's sitting on metal. Like an absolute <laughs> miserable week. The generator is cleaner than the car. The wrap looks pretty sweet on it. That's hilarious, dude. Does this mean? Does this mean we? Does this mean we? Oh, I know, I saw that. So clever. Does that mean we get to charge our stuff from this thing all week? Yeah, you need to charge your phone, dude? Yeah, we're gonna get up to Jenny. What's our gas station? Oh, no, wow. Hey, you mind hey. if I charge my phone on your Jenny? Yeah, you can just plug right in. And get... <laughs> just talk to my generator manager. <laughs> is that what his job is? What is this, dude? Oh, what are you doing with this? What about that little guy? <laughs> You're recharging your AC in this thing? No, the, yeah, well, the AC kind of crapped out on me. <laughs> But that was actually not my fault. That was already started before I even touched this. Really? I had a warranty service prepare 
But that exact day is the day I drove it under the water. I don't think you should ever wash it. I'm not. Yeah. It helps me disrespect the water. <laughs> okay. Like Time to play. Okay, there's a few things I gotta do to change this car from a street car to a race car. So let's start at the front and we'll start walking our way back. First thing I gotta do is take off this gigantic air filter. I have a gigantic air filter because it's, I think it's five and a half or six inches in order to get an air filter that size to just come this big. Moving backwards, I switch over my fuel lines to my race setup. So these are quick disconnect A in fittings. These two that are currently on the feed and the return go to the back of the car. The other race setup is right here. So this is running on Ignite E90 with twin Magna or Magna Fuel 750s. So then I gotta come in here, switch the wiring around. I have been on quick disconnects as well to switch between the race pumps and the uh, street pump in the back. I have to change the tune on the computer switch the tires over and then we're ready to race. Oh, yeah. So let's get going on that checklist. Give us an update. Well, we've got problems we didn't even start it. My oil pressure line somehow broke off of the oil pan. So it's spraying oil everywhere and making a huge mess. Look at this, you can see it right here where the oil's coming out. It's right there, a little brass fitting. Right there. Okay, so we're having a little bit of trouble getting the old oil pressure line back into the oil pan. So look what we did. I had this Motion Raceworks piece that goes in there, and so I took out one of the screws, and basically I just blocked the hole. So now we're only running off the Holly for to sensing oil pressure, but it'll be safer that way. Somebody mentioned in a comment earlier that those those little plastic lines for the oil pressure are really dangerous to be running next to your headers in the motor because they can melt and then you get oil spraying everywhere exactly like we did. So we're kind of lucky that this happened. I think when I just had it up on the jack stands trying to fix the steering rack, that when I came down, it must have pinched that line and snapped it. So when I drove it back over to the pits, oil is spraying everywhere. So it's kind of a blessing that this happened because somebody even mentioned that it, it is a hazard. So I went ahead and just blocked it off completely and we'll just rely on the Holly from here on out to monitor our oil pressure. shut the car off again until my pass. So it was about 10 minutes of just sitting there, the car idling on E90, which burns really quickly. So I ended up burning through my, pretty much my entire tank of gas by the top of race fuel by the time I got to the line. So then when I launched, it fuel cut really bad because it was starving of fuel. So it was lean, got down the end of the track, brought it back and the spark plugs were leaned out. So I replaced all the plugs, filled it up with fuel, got it on the charger, and we're gonna make another hit soon on the next round. So getting her fixed back up again, fueled up, new plugs, and hopefully we can get a good strong pass on the second time. I also turned the, the launch down by 100 RPM and by two pounds of boost. So hopefully that'll do it. What? I've been looking for this. Yeah, I've literally been looking for my race suit. You gave it to me. <laughs> I, you know how tight this other race suit was? I've been in Florida. Kimber on the race. Son of a bitch. Definitely let out. I definitely let out. What's the eighth mile? <laughs> the eighth mile is a five six nine. 
Oh my god, it went 140, dude. We could go so much. We definitely go 850. Wow. I know, but dude, <laughs> that was unreal. Dude. I, I was it was starting to get a little sketchy. I got out of the grooves like right after I got into second. But by then it was time to pull the chute. I kind of let out a bit, got back into it so I could pull the chute. Pull it up, pull out the slip. First eight. Oh man. <laughs> Smile. Big day. Smile. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Big, I got this guy. <laughs> hey, man, don't forget them O-rings underneath that plate. Yeah, yeah, I got this. like we got a 956 but we're down a cylinder here not sure what's going on gonna mess with some plug wires oh the freaking coils unplugged oh my god dude i was like that was a full rip but a nine and a half after doing an eight eight like what happened dude the freaking coils unplugged Oh, man. Oh, but make another pass now. Yeah, definitely make another pass, but we don't have this huge oil mess anymore after switching around our valve cover, so I'm really glad we did that. Yeah, that's major. Major key. All right, let's get some fuel in her. Yep. Ice it down, fuel it up. I think we're out of ice, maybe. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, just for perspective, this thing burnt right, about two to three gallons to of bridge. ethanol per pass. Pretty freaking All right. insane. Fuel efficient. Closing out day one of Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0 2021. Finished today with an 8.8. We are going to be running in Limited Street. So we're closing it out. Tomorrow we are headed to Texas. It's about 250 mile drive. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, leave us a comment, and come tag along. It's going to be fun. <laughs>